Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 farming guide and today I'm going to show you how can you farm any backpack mod you want without having to do or bother with all the possum challenges. Hello again! Are you ready to find out how can you get any backpack mod that you want? Well, I'm going to be showing you today how to do that without having to complete the possum challenges that can be quite time consuming to do. They are very grindy, some of them are extremely complicated to do and well, this is not about how to do the challenges. It's very different. I'm going to show you an alternative way on how to farm possum badges. It's mostly through the new event Campfire Tales. So make sure to check this video if you don't know how to do it because you need to understand how the tasks work in order to do not fail the event, especially if you are doing this solo or with other people that have no idea what you're doing either. So make sure to check it out. And besides that, I have two main rules uh, that you have to follow in order to farm possum badges. Otherwise, it won't work. And the first rule is you need to be a possum rank. So you need to finish the tadpole mission first, the one that gives you the backpack. If you didn't do it, then feel free to check my guide. I have all the step by step that you need to know to complete the mission. Anyway, the second rule for this is that you can trigger the event yourself if you had to camp Adams during night time or right after sunset. If you do this, you will like 90% trigger the event if it's not up already. So let's take a closer look. All right, so this event is only triggering during night time. Of course, you can still do it during the day when you trigger the event close to sunset. Then, of course, while doing it, it will be daylight by then. But it always triggers at sunset or during night time. How do you know it's night or sunset? Well, just look at the light in game. If it's like, you know, pinkish, reddish, then it's probably a sunset or a sunrise. And if the sky is filled with stars and you can see the moon, it's night, of course. And then it's time to head to Camp Adams if the event is not up already. And once you arrive here, uh, either if you walk or if you fast travel, the event will instantly pop up. So this is like 100% trigger if no one has done it in your server. And then you can just server jump over and over to do this. It's pretty straightforward. Now, let's say that you find the event and you have actually been farming it. Don't forget you need to be a possum rank in the Pioneer Scouts faction. And for that, you need to finish the order of the Tadpole mission. It's the only way to be eligible for the possum badges. So make sure to finish the mission and then you can freely farm the badges. But without this step, you won't be able to do it. So that's right you have to do it i know it's not the best experience in fallout 76 but it is how it is anyway you can also get possum badges by completing any possum challenge you will get one badge per challenge which is ridiculous for the amount of work they ask of you and you can also occasionally get badges from the repeatable uh, missions from the Pioneer Scouts. So for me, it has been around 1 in 10, summing up uh, the bug mission with the toxic waste mission. It's very rare, but if you need uh, the rewards, if you are up for the challenge and server jump to keep doing the same missions over and over, then it might be a thing for you. Anyway, with this information in mind, let's keep moving and check how can you farm the Campfire Tales event and get as many possum badges as you want or need for your backpack mod. Okay, so 
all you need here now is a bit of luck and patience because you will want to wait for nighttime or server jump and be lucky to find a starry sky out there and then move to Camp Adams as I just mentioned and let the farming begin.
Alright, so enough comedy about grinding this event and once I got the 8 patches I wanted, I was getting pretty much one badge per 4 or 5 events as you could see. I picked the high capacity mod because it was the most voted by you to my YouTube community pool, over 600 votes, thank you very much for the feedback by the way. And then I went straight to my base to craft a level 50 mod for my backpack. And by then, I wasn't entirely sure of the stats, I only knew it increased the carry weight, and then I saw that it's 120 carry weight, but with some harsh debuffs, so I get minus 60 radiation and energy defense. Damn. The community asked and I delivered, so my first backpack mod is the high capacity and it's extremely good for farming and carrying things around. So as you can see I have 445 carry weight during the day and that's basically more than half of my camp stash. It's impressive, I can carry like 30 weapons, uh, tons of aid items, junk. And I no longer have to do 10 runs to farm random items to sell to the vendors to reach the limit cap of 1,400. I can do it in like 1, 2 or 3 runs if I don't want to be overweight at all. So it's quite impressive because I also can gather all the legendaries I don't want and come in one go and sell them all for scrip. It's just so, so nice in terms of utility and uh, time saving. So I think you should have this backpack mod just as your second backpack, you know, for farming and for carrying things around. But you cannot forget the debuffs because they condition your gameplay and combat system a lot. In terms of survivability, it's a very horrisome because any source of radiation or energy, you are taking over 50% more damage. And for example, here when I get close to this extractor, you can see my rods jumping like mad. So with this backpack, I have to constantly be eating or drinking rather ways, like all the time. I'm not kidding. So I'm doing a lot of events to make sure I have enough all the time. For example, crossing this bridge here in this mine is just, uh, okay, I'm ready to go to my decontamination shower. And yeah, so I'm visiting my camp all the time now to get rid of the rats. It's quite annoying. So I'm actually thinking about if it's so worth in terms of time saving for items since I also have to return, uh, yes, and energy weapons from robots in particular do way more damage now as well. So be careful if you are using this mod for fighting and combat. So make sure to stay away from places with high radiation because you will most likely get in a very bad state or be forced out or even die and you don't want that. Fighting irradiated enemies is also a no-go for this build or when you are using the backpack. For example, fighting feral ghouls is a pain in the ass because every time they hit you, as you can see, I am getting 75 radiation into me. It's just too much. It's, it's not viable. So either make sure they don't hit you or don't use this backpack at all. Moreover, when you are doing the Scorch Beast event, make sure to get inside um, power armor and pop up your Rad X because this might happen. So I server jumped in here and once everything loaded, I was inside a nuked area and yeah, pretty much no Rad Aways can save me from that. And here the same, I just fast traveled into the nuked area and I have no time to do anything. By the time I spawn my power armor, I'm already dead. Then the auto respawn came and I'm again dead. So 
Responding in another area is the only solution to actually <laughs> get over this. So that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed my farming tips and tricks for opossum badges. I try to be as explicit as I could be and don't expect the badges to pop up every single time you do the event because that's not the way it works. It's around one every four or five events, at least in my case. I did way more events than the ones I have portrayed in this video, but for the sake of time, I did not include every single one of them. And yeah, that's going to be all. If you liked the backpack mod or, you know, if you didn't like, also let me know in the comment section below what's your opinion on this expensive 8 badge mod that is good for some things but not so good for others, which is completely normal because uh, backpack mods work a little bit like mutations. They give you a buff, but then you will have to face the consequences with the debuffs as well. I am Marta Branku. Thank you so much for watching until this point. If you like the content and you are new around, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Also, if you'd like to support me even further, don't forget to check my new Patreon page. You can support me by $1. It's the lowest tier, so make sure to check it out. And I'm going to see you very soon in a next video. See you then. Bye-bye.